Welcome to Assistant, a three-year project receiving funding from the European Union. In this short film, we'd like to tell you about its aims, achievements and future plans. The number of people in Europe over the age of 65 will almost double, from 85 million today to 151 million in 2060. As Europe ages, Assistant is helping to maintain the mobility of its older citizens. The project is aimed at the next generation of older people who are comfortable using smartphones. Assistant is an application for the home computer and smartphone to help older people travel safely and independently by public transport, enabling them to relax and enjoy the journey while they do so. Let's hear more from project leader, Stefan Kamil. The Assistant Project is a system that supports elders and other people with disabilities and, and typical people too, with different needs, in using public transportation. The system was designed with elders' specific needs in mind. One of the problems that many elders have with smartphone applications, touchscreen applications, is that uh, the fonts are designed by young programmers who are 25 years old and have no problem with itsy bitsy teeny weeny fonts. So we make sure that the characters on the screen are large enough. We've gone through and really thought this thing out both uh, from perspective of research and also talking to some elder focus groups. Another thing that uh, makes Assistant unique is that we provide a safety net. Modern technology is pretty fragile and the environment is, is unpredictable. Suppose you slip past a bus stop where you're supposed to get out because the assistant system and the smartphone are using uh, real-time information of where the bus is, or where you are, and what should be happening, it's able to determine that, you, that you're not where you ought to be, and then give you a new set of instructions on how to get to the goal. One other thing that makes assistant unique, we've given the elders some guidance to get from the last stop to their goal, or from where they started to that first bus stop or tram stop, with the knowledge that GPS is pretty unreliable. So instead of trying to give them a map of where they are, we give them a compass to where they're going. And we monitor making sure that they're, they're making progress. If they don't make progress after a while, we'll wake up and tell them that we think that you're going in the wrong direction. The last thing is it allows a wide range of personalization of both the route editor and the smartphone application. So for instance, because there were some concerns from elders about I don't want to sit and just watch my phone all the time, um, that makes me nervous about carrying the phone where people might be able to see it or grab it or whatever, um, we provided the option of, of getting the information through uh, an earpiece. There's all sorts of things that you can, you can do on the phone to make it fit your needs and things that you can do on the route editor to make it fit the kind of person you are and the kind of skills you have. I think the, the first thing that, that is a real big result is that the system is really designed with elders in mind. We really we work with elders and we did a lot of research on what's appropriate for elders. So it's a well-designed application. We designed the system from the very beginning so that if your public transportation company is using some of the standards that are already existent and used by literally hundreds of transportation companies across Europe, we make it easy for you. This is not programming. This is just installing the thing for your system. And then you can provide, give to your citizens the same support that people can get in those very large urban areas. Now let's take a look at Assistant in action. Essentially, it has two elements, a web-based journey planner and a smartphone app that guides travelers during their journeys. From a home PC, Assistant can be used to plan a journey that involves walking and public transport, for example, bus, train or tram. This route planner is accessed via the web. And this is where users set preferences to personalize it according to his or her individual needs. Those new settings are then automatically transferred to the Assistant smartphone app. Once the route's been planned online, Assistant then sends it to the user's smartphone. When a traveller is ready to start a journey, a previously planned route can be called up using Assistant smartphone app. The app then points the traveller in the right direction when walking to a public transport stop or station. The route can also be displayed as a map on the smartphone. Should a traveller start walking in the wrong direction, Assistant provides an alert and helps the traveller back on course. 
When the traveller arrives at a public transport stop, assistant advises which service to catch and when it will arrive, using real-time information about how the services are actually running. Once the traveller has boarded, assistant then advises which stop to get off at and when. Should the traveller get into difficulty during the trip, assistant allows him or her to contact a nominated person for help. Assistant can also guide travellers back on track to his or her destination or back to the starting point. Assistant has had input from end users from the very start. This active involvement ensures that the assistant solution is helpful and relevant. In spring 2015, we worked with members of the public age 65 plus to field test a prototype. Trials took place in cities in Finland, Spain and Austria during which people used Assistant to plan and make public transport journeys. Their experiences were then evaluated with diaries and questionnaires to provide invaluable feedback. Although Assistant's EU funding finishes on the 30th of June 2015, this is not the end. Work will continue to bring the Assistant product to market in 2017 as defined in our business plan. Back to Stefan Kalmin. In general, what I would like to do is I would like to take it from a research, what we call research grade program, to a commercial grade program, where it's, where it's much more robust and intended for commercial use. Everything in the system is implemented now and, and is uh, based on sound existing technology. So that's what we're looking for. Maybe one and a half, two years of funding uh, and then spun off into a commercial product. For more information, visit www.aal-assistant.eu.